Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be a super exciting first impression review and demo on some of the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundations, concealer, and powder. So I actually placed my order with Wet n Wild online because I did not want to wait until my Walgreens had this entire display in stock. So I wanted to pick these up as soon as I could. So I just ended up ordering two of the foundations. I also again have one of the new concealers and I did pick up one of the pressed powders as well. You guys know how much I love Wet n Wild and all their products but I've actually never tried any of their like foundations or powders. I do have one of their concealers and I love it. So I'm hoping that I do fall in love with this one as well. But I'm really, really excited to try these out. There are 20 different shades of these. So I feel like this is going to be a good shade for everyone in there. They do have a lot of different undertones as well. So they have pink, neutral, and warm, which is great. These are also super affordable as well. The foundations are $5.99. The powder is $4.99. And the concealer is only $3.99. So these are all under $6. These also have some amazing claims to them. So I'm super excited to try them out. If you've never watched one of my first impression videos, I do love to tell you guys a little bit about the foundation and then I will do a demo and then wear test two times. So I will check in twice throughout the day just to kind of show you guys how it's wearing on my skin, if it's controlling my oils, keeping me matte because I do have super, super oily skin, especially in my T-zone. I have acne scarring and current acne right now on my cheeks as well as rosacea and a lot of redness right there. So I'm hoping that this is going to cover everything. So if you all want to see my first impression review and demo, on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus line, then just keep on watching. So like always, again, I love to tell you guys a little bit about the products that I'm going to be using on my skin. So again, this is by Wet n Wild. It's their Photo Focus Foundation. There are 20 shades online, and I believe there are still a lot of colors online that are available if you don't want to wait until they come into your local drugstore. So this says it's a skin perfecting foundation that underwent major road testing under seven different photo lighting conditions to deliver flawless camera ready makeup every time. Especially made with a matte light diffusing complex to give your skin a hashtag no filter perfection. It's a high performing breakthrough formula featuring light adjusting complex to help prevent white casts and photos and it says it's tested under seven light conditions with and without the use of flash. I believe that's like the same claim for both the concealer and the powder as well but the seven light conditions that they were tested under is clear blue, sunlit sky, outdoors PM, indoors PM, electronic flash, fluorescent light, bathroom light, and nightclub light. So the two different colors that I picked up for myself were soft beige and buff bisque because I really wasn't sure what kind of color I was going to be but I did kind of test them on my skin right on my jawline to just kind of see what color I would be and the one that matches me right now perfectly is soft beige number 365c the soft beige one says it has a warm undertone and the buff bisque one says it has a neutral undertone and they both are light medium skin so I've already moisturized my skin like always I'm just gonna prime half of my face because I like to see how it's gonna wear on my skin without primer as well so the first primer I'm gonna go in with is the Estee Edit pore vanishing stick I'm gonna be priming my left side of my face and leaving my right side bare so I'm going to go in and put this on the areas of my skin that I have the largest pores. Now because this primer does not control my oils, I do like to go in and multi-prime with the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. This is oil-free and it's just great at controlling my oils. So I'm just going to take about half a pump of this and apply this right on my cheek area all over the one side of my face. This is what the foundation looks like up close. This is a really nice luxury feeling high-end packaging. It is glass, which is amazing. And again, this is only $5.99 less than six dollars and it has a screw top with a spatula like applicator so I feel like this is really nice because it's kind of sanitary you don't have to pump anything out on your hand or use your fingers or anything like that so you can just kind of rub it on so I'm just going to apply a little bit of this I don't know how full coverage this is going to be so I'm just going to start with that. And then to blend this out, I am going to be using my Morphe E6 brush because this is just the way I like to get a full coverage finish. You could definitely use this with a beauty blender if you wanted to, but I feel like that does sheer out whatever foundation I like to use. I'm just going to try this with this one first. And again, this is the prime side. This feels really nice and lightweight. It's going on as like a nice medium coverage. It's definitely not full. You can still see a lot of the imperfections on my cheeks, but it is evening out my skin tone, which is what I like. We're going to see if this is going to be buildable as well. I'm going to try a second layer after I do the rest of my face. So that is what one side of my face looks like with the foundation on. Again, this was really, really easy to blend out. Did not take very long at all. So let's see how it goes on the unprimed side. The formula of this is a little bit runny. It's like more of a liquidy foundation than something I've tried. And the smell, it honestly smells like paint. Like it's quite strong. Like I can definitely smell it 
it being on my skin. So if you are sensitive to smells, just be aware of that. This doesn't go on any different than the prime side, covering a lot of my redness, which I like and I really appreciate. And it's sticking to my nose, which I have a hard time with some foundations. I do think this color is like perfect for me right now. So this is what one even layer of the foundation looks like. When I go up close, I do like the finish of it on my prime side a little bit better. I feel like my pores and my texture are just kind of smoothed everything over, but this one does not look awful. I mean, I definitely would recommend using primers. I like using primers for all my foundations. I'm gonna see if it will build up just on these spots that I want a little bit of extra coverage. I feel like this is a very, very lightweight, again, feeling foundation. So even though it looks like I put a lot on, it feels like nothing is on my skin, but it's giving me quite good coverage. That already looks way better and I'm a lot happy with that. Look at that, that looks so pretty. So this is quite easily buildable. It does not look like it's caking up or anything, so that's awesome. I do feel like you do get a lot more coverage when you build it up in certain spots. I wouldn't do like two full layers on your entire face. If you like a full coverage look, I would just do it in areas you need the coverage. It also kind of looks like I have a filter on my skin. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that on camera, but it just looks so like soft and like smooth. Now for the concealer, again, this is the Photo Focus Concealer. It has the same claims as the foundation, so I'm not gonna bore you with that. I got this in the color 840B Light Ivory. This is the lightest one. It doesn't look that light when you actually look at it. So this is what the color looks like. It has a nice doe foot applicator. This one doesn't have as strong of a smell as the foundation, but this looks quite full coverage. It feels quite thick and creamy, like it's not gonna blend out that easily, so we'll see. And then to blend this out, I'm gonna be using my Morphe G2 brush. You can, again, use a damp beauty blender for this, but I wanted to see how it works with a brush. Well, actually, that blended out quite easily, so that's good. I feel like this color is perfect for my skin tone, too. Like, it's not too highlighted, but it's not, like, my skin tone. So this is gonna be great if you're kind of around me to both highlight and conceal. That looks really, really good. I am digging this so far. So there is the concealer all blended out into my skin. I think this looks so good. It's very full coverage. It's not like caking up under there or anything. It is creasing just a little bit under my eyes. So I'm going to set this immediately with my powder. I am going to be going in with a loose translucent powder for under my eyes and then use the other powder for the rest of my face. And then lastly, to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be using the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. I have this in the color 823C Natural Beige. So this comes in eight different colors. The concealer only comes in six and again the foundation in 20 so this is kind of like right in the middle of shade range so I'm just going to be taking this on my Real Techniques powder brush. The packaging of this kind of feels a little bit cheaper than the foundation for sure and the concealer so I'm just going to be placing a little bit of this. I'm not going to go too heavy handed with this and just press this into the skin. When I touch this with my finger, it's a very, very lightweight powder. You guys can see it doesn't really give too much coverage, but it has like that silky, smooth finish. So this is not going to be giving you a lot of extra coverage. It's just going to be setting everything down, making sure nothing moves, and kind of giving you that flawless kind of filtered look. So now I have all of my base done. So the foundation concealer was set as well with the powder, and I think the powder looks good. It reminds me quite a lot of the MAC Mineral Skin Finish or the new NYX No Filter Powder. I do feel like it is a little bit more lightweight than those. It has a very, very sheer coverage. It's just gonna set your face and give you a really gorgeous kind of like filtered look. So I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face, see how everything blends on top of this, and I'll check back in with you guys in just a little bit. All right, so I'm back. I have the rest of my makeup on. I'm really, really liking this so far. Um, everything blended out so gorgeously on top of it. I will leave everything that I am wearing down below if you're curious about what's on my face. It doesn't feel heavy or cakey at all. I do, again, like the side that I primed better because of my texture and my huge pores on my skin. It didn't really sink into anything on this side. It does still look good. I absolutely love the finish of this. It's a very nice natural matte. It doesn't look super, super flat or like kind of like drying out your skin, but it is definitely matte. So if you were oily, I think you were going to absolutely love this. Fingers crossed that this does kind of work out for my skin and keep my oils under control throughout the day. But the formula of this is amazing as well. I love how lightweight it was. And it is again more of that like liquidy kind of watery formula where it doesn't really feel very heavy on the skin but I love how much coverage it provided. I did again build it up on my cheek area which I do have the most redness there so I do like how it build up. It is feeling very good on my skin. I don't feel like I have like a ton of foundation on my face. So I do want to try this out with a flash test just to see how the light reflects on my skin. So I did use this. So you 
kind of messed up with the lights in the back, but as you can see, there's no flashback or white cast on my skin. I do feel like that concealer is perfect for my undertone. It is quite full coverage, but it blended out really, really nicely, and I do like the powder as well. I'm not like super impressed with the powder. I do think there are better powders out there, but if you do like a really nice sheer, satiny, matte finish powder that's very, very natural on the skin, not going to give you a lot of extra coverage, but just going to set everything down with like a light tint to it, you're probably going to really, really like this one. So it is about one o'clock right now, right on the dot right there. So I'm going to check back in you guys in about five or six hours just to see how this is wearing, how it's controlling my oils. This is just going to be a very basic kind of wear test just to see how this works on my skin. So I will see you guys in about five to six hours. What is up you guys? I am back for my five hour check-in. It's a little over five hours. It's about 6.20 right now. So this is what the foundation is looking like on my skin. I'm actually really, really liking this. The only thing that I have noticed that I'm not really liking so far is that it has oxidized a little bit. And I'm not sure if that's because I do have oily skin and it is mixing with my face oils, which can cause foundation to oxidize. So that is kind of like what I'm experiencing now. It's not a super bad oxidation, as you can see on this camera. It's not something that's going to bother me too much. I still do really, really like this. It feels still so lightweight on my skin. I am like a little dewy and glowy in my nose area and on my forehead, but it's not something I feel like I need to use a blotting paper with or kind of powder my skin. If this is going to bug you, you probably will want to powder at this point, but it has only been on my skin for about five and a half hours, which is still pretty good. And I do love the way this still looks on my skin. I actually got a couple compliments today on my skin and on my foundation and how it was looking. So that is awesome because it literally feels like I have like a filter on my skin. My pores are peeking through just a little bit on the prime side and unprime side. It has kind of worn away just a tad on my nose as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is caking up kind of around my nose area. It's really, really mixing well with my face oils. I feel like it makes the foundation kind of more comfortable as well. It doesn't really feel super drying and matte. I do really, really like the concealer. It's quite full coverage. It covered a lot under my eyes without even having to use a color corrector. The only thing I'm kind of bummed about is I got the shade Light Ivory and it's definitely not going to be light enough for people that are fairer than me, I think, because I feel like it looks like a great matte for both highlighting and concealing. It's kind of like right in the middle for me. But if you're any more fair than me or lighter than me, I don't feel like it's going to work as well on you. It may be kind of too dark, actually. So as of right now, I'm really, really enjoying the way this is wearing on my skin. Again, it doesn't feel like anything. It gave me the coverage that I wanted. My blush, bronzer, highlight is still looking good. It did cover my acne. You can still see, you know, like scarring and stuff, but the coverage and the coloring of everything looks great. So I'm not going to blot or powder my skin or anything. I'm just going to leave it like this, see how I look in about four or five more hours to get to like 10 or 11 o'clock. I think it looks absolutely beautiful right now and I love the way this makes my skin look. But anyways, this is going to be my five and a half hour check-in. I'll check back into you guys in a little bit. For my final check-in, it is about 10.46. So I've had this on my face for a little shy of 10 hours and I am looking pretty dewy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am feeling a little oily. I do think it's like one of those like healthy glows, but it's definitely there. The oil is peeking through. It is looking a little bit cakey around some spots on my skin. I mean, everything is still on my skin. The bronzer contour highlight still looks popping. The concealer under my eyes is kind of getting a little bit crepey, and that's also just because my eyes aren't super, super hydrated right now. So I'm actually quite impressed with this so far and how it's looking and how it's held up. Again, I'm using the color Soft Beige, which has a warm undertone. I don't feel like it's like super yellowy. It definitely looks more neutral to me, but that's just because I have a neutral undertone and I feel like it's like a perfect match for me as well. The powder, I'm not like super, super impressed with. I wouldn't suggest like running out to reach for the powder if that's something that you were kind of thinking about. It's like an okay powder, but I'm actually really, really impressed with this. I like the applicator, I like the packaging of it. The finish of it, again, is a really nice kind of like natural matte. I think if you're going to be normal to combination, you're going to love this. I did end up being a little bit oily, but I think it looks beautiful on the skin as well. And it didn't really wear off too, too much on my skin. So honestly, for $5.99, I think this is a complete steal and I would definitely try this out if you are curious about it. I think this is going to be great for a lot of different skin types as well because it is kind of like that velvety satin matte finish where it doesn't feel super, super flat on the face, but it does kind of work with the natural oils on your face just to kind of set nicely on your skin. So I'm really pumped about this. So that is it for this video. I hope you all really liked it. Let me know if you've ever tried this out before and what your thoughts on it are. So if you did like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all so very much and I'll see you all in my next video.